what's up YouTube? In today's video, I'm gonna talk about my favorite couches that I have in my home. I actually have two of them. If you wanna check out these sectional couches, just check out the links that I provide down in the description below. You'll be able to find the best deals on these, but this is my cheapest one that I have. This is a sectional couch. It actually separates right over here. You can move these two off to the side. I actually separate it so you can see what it looks like. So you just literally just push this out of the way. Very easy to do, especially if you wanna clean under the couch and everything, you can do that. And then you just put it back together by simply lifting it up and butting these two together. As you can see right there. So it's actually two pieces that make it one. Actually, all the pillows came with it. So you have those main pillows right over there. And then it came with those three accent pillows. It's very comfortable. It's like a cloth kind of finish to it. Very easy to vacuum and maintain. It has springs on the bottom here. And this actually has some really good cushion to it as well. And the bottom has these little feet. It's actually very light and easy to move too. It's really easy. And this is what the back looks like. And I'll come around the corner here so you can see what it looks like. I'll actually put the dimensions down in the description below as well. And I'll come around this corner. This couch is actually seven years old. It's one of the very first couches that I bought um, when I was in the apartment. And now that I have a home, I bought another couch I'm about to show you here shortly. It easily seats at least uh, four to five people and um, a bunch of kids, because kids are a lot smaller than adults. But I'm gonna show you really quick in this other living room here. This is one of my favorite couches. This is actually a leather Baxton uh, leather couch. It's actually brown. The uh, accent pillows actually did not come with it. So um, those pillows you see there, those six ones, it didn't come with this uh, couch, but uh, this is actually a custom setup. So this couch also comes with a chaser and I actually have two recliners. So this is a recliner and this is a recliner. I'm about to show you how those work and function but I love how it has excellent uh, back support and your head literally comes right over here, depending on how tall you are. I'm about 5'9", five, 5'10", five, so my head actually comes right back here and it's very, very comfortable. And the armrest is really nice as well. But when you sit in this thing, it is very, very, very comfortable. Um, a lot of people just wanna fall asleep on it. But uh, this one over here, this chaser comes out and it actually has a manual feature where you can pull on this lever right here and then push this back. So I'll show you really quick. Sorry, I'm recording at the same time. I'm trying to show you how this works. So I pushed that down as far back as I possibly could. And like I said, it's not powered, but you can just manually move it. Like when I pull on this, it's gonna release this thing forward. Just like that. And this one over here is one of the recliners. The reclining lever is actually right here in this corner. You actually have to shove your, your fingers inside this corner and there's a lever. Let me see if I can spread it out there. It's kind of hard to see it, but you pull on this lever and then the whole thing will come back. I'm gonna put it in the, the far back position right now. So this is as far back as it will recline. Let me move this pillow so you can see how it looks. Come over here on the side so you can see it. And obviously you don't have to recline it back this far. You can move it in different positions, but you pull up on it to recline it back and you push down on the lever to put it down. So I'll stop halfway right here so you can see it. And then I'll put it all the way back down. And the motor is actually really quiet. And this other one over here is very simple. It's like your traditional type of uh, recliner. The button is actually right there in the corner. You just push on this to extend it out. And that's what that looks like with it fully out. Very comfortable. And 
this is me sitting on the couch looking at it from that angle I'll go ahead and sit on this chaser so you can see what it looks like if you're laying down over here this is me laying down the chaser and videoing the recliner and that's what the components look like underneath there Okay, I'm gonna put this one back down and then show you how these plug in. So it only takes probably about five to 10 seconds or so to put it back into the regular position. And I'm going to show you now how this thing plugs in. So each recliner has its own plug. So this one over here and the one on the corners are gonna have plugs. So this one, I have an extension cord so I can power both of them up. This plug goes to that corner one over there. And then this one goes to this one. It's really easy to clean these couches, um, even though they're two different types. Like I said, this one is uh, leather with vinyl and the other one in the other living room over there is actually a cloth really easy to take care of and very comfortable for friends and family to use. So what's it gonna be? This backstand leather couch is actually a custom setup. Originally it came with two armrests that were like right there and right there and it had cup holders and a little area looked like a little storage cooler little area you could put stuff in and so I decided to remove those and I told them to add an extra recliner. So that's why I have two recliners, one there, one there, and then the chaser. So it freed up some space and gave me room for another recliner to put right there. Honestly, if I were to redo this whole thing over again, I would honestly put a recliner there, actually make all these a recliner, especially this one over here. So these two right here are not recliners. If I were to do this whole setup again, I would order two more recliners because it's just really nice to have to be able to lay back, watch movies and just chill. In regards to how to assemble this thing, there are six pieces right here and all six pieces are all individual and have their own track. And uh, so every corner, like if you look here, there, there, there and there are little tracks that you pick up and you slide it over to lock them in place. So assembly is really easy. All right, so I'm just gonna show you how this Baxton couch works when you attach all the segments together. So I actually opened up this recliner and I'm underneath the couch right now. So the way this works is you have these two tracks. So that's one right there. And the other one is way back in that corner. So there's two of them. And so you actually have to lift it up and pull it backward to take it out of place. I started trying to mess around with it and you can see how it's almost out. But if you wanna lock it back in place, you just slide it at an angle and push it down into that little groove over there. So this is what this side looks like. It actually has the same kind of setup. There's two of them, one right there and one right there. And what happens is this recliner actually has a piece that sticks out like this and it slides into that track. So there's two pieces. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this quick review on my two sectional couches. I highly recommend that you check out the links down below so you can save on the best deals and not pay retail for these couches. Um, whether you're looking for a sectional couch like this one or a love seat or even recliner, um, the best deals can be found online or at least go to the store, test out what you like, then look it up online and shop smart so you can save a bunch of money. But um, this one over here is leather and vinyl and this one over here is basically like a uh, cloth finish and it came with all these pillows. That's the upside to this setup was it came with all these pillows and cushions and I didn't have to do anything else with it. But um, this Baxton leather one, I actually had to buy some accent pillows cause it didn't come with it. But other than that, for it being customizable, it was definitely worth the price. I wanna say I paid roughly about $2,500 for this one and about 350-ish for the one over here in this living room. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And as always, thank you all for watching.